The race is on around the world to find a vaccine for COVID-19. The University of Saskatchewan's Vaccine and Infectious Disease Organization, International Vaccine Center, also known as Vito Intervac, is among those working on it. The project lead, Dr. Daryl Falzerano, joins me now with an update. Dr. Falzerano, tell us about how the animal trials are going with the ferrets. Well, so far, so good. So we made a vaccine that we used in a prime boost combination in ferrets, and it was immunogenic. It induced neutralizing antibodies, which is what we were looking for. And then when we challenged the animals with SARS-CoV-2, they appeared to be uh, protected from, from challenge with very, very low levels of virus shedding uh, in their upper respiratory tract. What does that mean for people who don't speak doctor? So it, it means what happened is, is, is what we wanted to see. So we wanted to see substantially level, uh, lower levels of virus replication um, in the animals. So much, much less virus, uh, and, and that's what we saw. Why two immunizations instead of one before you expose them? So that'll probably be something we go back and look at again. Um, but our, our vaccine is a subunit vaccine. And typically those uh, are not really sufficient with one immunization. So it's, it's usually that you're needing two for, um, you know, for really for good protection. So what determines if the vaccine is, is successful to move on to the next stage? So we think the outcome so far is, is successful enough to continue moving on. So um, we saw what it was that we wanted to see so that it induces an immune response, that immune response appears to be the right kind. And then that immune response is actually doing something, which is, which is what I said in terms of reducing the amount of virus in these animals. Uh, so we continue with other animal models as well as making um, vaccine that's of the quality that you need to test in humans. What are some of the other animal models? We've heard a lot about the ferrets. Right, so ferrets are just one model. Uh, the second model that we're looking at you know, already uh, and, and have already started trials is hamsters. Um, and, and so those are proceeding and, and we'll find out more um, you know, about them in let's say uh, six to eight weeks, I guess. How are you guys working with other researchers in other cities to move things along? So most of the, the data is sort of shared almost in, in real time, not quite, but um, there, there are WHO calls weekly where everyone who has new information is sort of updating the community that joins in on that, which is really is people from all over the world uh, to let them know uh, what, at what step they're at and what their, um, what their outcomes are. And so having that information helps everyone uh, work to move ahead to make you know successful vaccines and to see what their vaccine needs to needs to do to be successful as well. How is that different from how you would normally treat vaccine development? So normally it would be a much slower process. Most vaccines are taking about 10 years to develop and here people are trying to put that down into into one year. Usually you'd sort of work on your own. You wouldn't certainly share your preliminary data with others, you know, quite readily. Um, you would share it through publications, you know, after it's been peer reviewed. Uh, and, and that process tax on, you know, an extra couple months, whereas here you're, you're, you're seeing data sort of real time before it's, uh, before it's been reviewed and published. I don't know that I ever remember a time that we've had this many conversations about any kind of vaccine. People are very eager to get the details about when it's going to be ready for humans. What happens next for you guys and what kind of time frames are we looking at? So right now we're trying to, of course, more animal trials to continue to show that this vaccine looks like it is, um, protective and working um, and understanding a little bit better how, how it might be doing that. We're also looking at making a, so right now we're using an experimental quality vaccine. So this is suitable for use in animals, but, but it wouldn't be suitable for use in humans. So we're in the process of manufacturing a human grade or quality of vaccine. That'll get done in the early summer. And then we're looking at starting, hopefully, uh, clinical trials, so phase one clinical trials in the, in the fall. Well, thank you so much for all your hard work and for your time today. I know you're very busy. Sure, thank you. Dr. Daryl Falzerano is the project lead at Vito Intervac in Saskatoon. You can read more about the vaccine trials at cbc.ca slash sask.